The GitLab security configuration makes it easier for you to add security scans to your GitLab projects. Other than adding templates to the GitLab YAML file, you can configure security scans in a visual way. We can access the security configuration by going to the Security and Compliance tab and clicking on Configuration. Here, we have the Security Configuration UI page. It lists the name, description, documentation link, whether it is available or not, as well as the configuration button or link to a configuration guide for several security testing and compliance tools. You can configure SAST, also known as Static Application Security Testing, Infrastructure as Code Scanning, IAC, DAST, Dynamic Application Security Testing, Dependency Scanning, Container Scanning, Cluster Image Scanning, Secret Detection, API Fuzzing, as well as Coverage Fuzzing. We're going to go ahead and enable SAST on our project. To do this, we just click on the Enable SAST button, and then we are taken to a configuration screen. Here, we can change configurations depending on the different scanners available. You can see that there are several different SAST scanners for different languages that have additional configurations. Note that each configuration is unique per scanner. Now, let's click on Create Merge Request. This creates a merge request that adds SAS to our pipeline in the way we configured it. Let's take a look at the changes. We can see that SAS has been added to the test stage and our YAML has been altered. Now click on Create Merge Request. Let's make sure that it is merged when the pipeline succeeds. So that way, we're always scanning each time a merge request is created. Now, if I take a look at the pipeline, I'll see that there is a newly added test stage, which is running the SAST configuration I created via the configuration UI. The configuration UI makes it easy to add and configure security scans in your project.